This is Divi. Uh, it's a theme that lets you do page building. I had a lot of issues with it uh, trying to get ACF out. There wasn't really any built-in ACF uh, stuff. So I ended up having to do uh, something for pods. Um, and, and this was a very basic solution. It's not, wasn't really flexible for me uh, when I'm dealing with ACF and pods and custom fields. Uh, maybe that's perhaps because I wasn't looking the right places, but I feel like I looked thoroughly. Uh, in this case, I ended up using a short code just to get the data out. I wanted to show uh, uh, ID 38 from the book pods post type and that's what I ended up doing. So I couldn't find a way to pull out the a list of posts. I just wanted a list of posts where I could customize the way the query works and say I wanted this one ID or uh, show one item from a post. I just couldn't do that in any other way. And so this was the solution I ended up with. On the singular view, let me go into Divi's theme builder. And you can see here, I, I'm able to define a template that's used across of all of a post type or whatever I want. You can actually see here, it can be across all pages, all posts, certain post types, certain archive pages. This has been a, a much more easier interface to use than uh, Beaver Builder because I feel like this was just so much easier to look at. Uh, the other interface was a little bit harder to, to visualize for me, but uh, this just seemed to stick better. But uh, you'll notice you can set custom headers and custom footers for different things. If there's no header or footer defined, it just falls back. And then I can go edit that. And you can see here that I've got dynamic post titles. Uh, Baver Themer did a whole lot better on this. I could not find a way to show me uh, what an actual post might have been for this singular post. It, it just shows dummy content. So. That's not so great. It's harder to work with and mess around with. I really like that feature in Beaver Builder. Uh, but I can add custom fields. So let's go in here. Inside of this one, I've chosen a uh, publication date. And uh, the field name is publication date. And I've got that defined here. But how do I get here? So let's get there. So let's go in here. This little plus thing is just like in Beaver Builder. Uh, you can use dynamic content. And you can see here. Um, for the purposes of this, uh, we can use a custom field name, and that's how I defined all that. So I defined it through that part. It was, it was still somewhat pretty difficult to work with. So if I look at the data on the singular view, uh, I was able to get it to work properly here for pods. And uh, in the case of ACF, this is actually the best I've ever seen an author come at. It's, it's the it's ID 41. Uh, it's for, in all the other cases, it was empty or it's an array. So this has been fantastic experience with Divi. Uh, in the case of the other stuff, I don't have the right display stuff. And that's just part of the way that those, those Divi integrations work with custom fields. It's, it, it leaves a lot to be desired. There's a lot of stuff that I want to be able to do. And if I went and looked at the plugins, uh, there's a new Divi add-on I created as part of this presentation that does do some integration. The only problem is it only knows what it knows at the current post level. So in this level, I can see that I have um, the data that it needs to be pulled in and it will automatically overwrite it. So if I put the custom fields section and I say it's the book author, it will go through and say, oh, that's a pods field and I'm gonna replace it with the display information. So it does all the extra work for you, super handy. Uh, and but, but in terms of the actual builder experience, when you go into it, again, you have to then choose manual custom field name. And the reason why this is happening is because there's no context at all for this template. We don't know which post type it's gonna be associated to, and so we end up not knowing what post uh, uh, custom fields to show for that section. What ACF does for this uh, inside of the ACF integration that's built into Divi itself, it just throws out all of the groups and all of the fields all at once. And uh, I found that to be um, pretty jarring because it wasn't very smart about it. It didn't really necessarily um, differentiate between uh, what post fields were for, for one post type versus another. And if the post uh, if the fields had the same key between different post types, it would uh, mess up things for the group. So it just, it didn't exactly feel right. Uh, so the way that I've gone about doing the integration from pods is just kept it simple. You just type the field name in there and it will do all the extra work for you. So that's Divi. It's, it's, it's 
got some more caveats. It's not as flexible as Beaver Builder. Uh, let's move on to the next one, which is is Elementor and Elementor Pro. 